Saturday, Saturday, October 3rd. And uh, I spent way more time than I wanted today looking at coupons. So um, this is one of the videos that I think I'm gonna do later. But um, I've kind of found a weird little hobby in couponing and really, it takes a really long time. So it's like not really, I kind of do it when I'm like um, watching TV and stuff like that when I have some passive time. Um, some people do this for like 40 hours a week and I, it's insane. Um, so I do it kind of passively. I know that like some people make tons of money doing it. I'm just looking for deals and matching all the coupons and like looking at all the rules or whatever. There's a website that I use and I scroll through it. There's like, she'll give you some deals that are like money makers, um, like where the rebate is more than what you actually spent on it. Um, there are some that are just like free, so it's a wash. And then like, I also usually try and find stuff that's like under a dollar or you know the but just the best deal that I can get especially on things like laundry detergent and then here we are it's one o'clock and I had planned on doing all these things today um time management is not my strong suit but anyway so today I am gonna do a haul basically and just like I'll show you guys a little bit it's it's nerve-wracking because if the math doesn't work then you spent more than you intended i have target is first on my list and then walmart and then last sam's club and um i think i don't know i'll have to do the math later i think before before coupons retail cost is like in upwards of two or three hundred dollars and then um post retail cost i think it's less than 50. So, um, I'm excited to see how the math works out, but, um, it just, it takes a lot of work and then you have to be patient and like make sure you're getting the exact product and the exact ounces and the exact, like you just have to make sure that you're paying attention to everything. So, um, I'm sure I'm going to be gone for at least a couple hours. Fun fact. So I'm actually skipping one place on my list. It looks like, um, because, uh, it doesn't exist anymore. There was Rite Aid over here and there were like three, four things that you could get completely free, but there's no Rite Aid. So I guess we're not doing that. It's 5.30, it's 5.21. Um, so shopping for four and a half hours. I got a lot, but like, I wish there was a more streamlined process. You can't like check out online and use coupons. Um, so you have to go in the store and get it, which sucks because that just takes longer. Some of my stuff I didn't even get. Um, other stuff like didn't end up working out, which this happens every time I go couponing. People who are like super, super into it, um, this is like a huge no-no for them, but um, I'm gonna, my phone has to charge a little bit and I just, uh, I need to sit down and like figure out like what I got how much I spent out of pocket and what I'm gonna get in return. And that'll kind of, you know, determine whether or not I did a good job today. Hello. Um, but I just, I'm exhausted right now. And um, Josh isn't home, nor is my roommate. So I think it would be a good night just to like relax and do some self care and, you know, have a girl's night with just me. I might go to the gym later, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm still currently failing the 75 day challenge. So, um, you know, maybe if I just sleep a little tonight um, and get some rest then I can kickstart that and be really awesome tomorrow. Um, but one thing is for sure, I have to stop making excuses for myself and I need to be better at time management. So anyways, I'm going to go change and then we'll do a little bit of math. Okay, so I finished doing all of this math and I've got it written down here in front of me and I can break it down here uh, for you guys, but I spent 63.60 at Sam's Club, I spent 82.69 at Walmart, and I spent 31.50 at Target, totaling $177.79. When I left my house, I anticipated an out-of-pocket cost of $196. So, 
that saved me about $19, $18 and some change. So there's the first win. Second, of that $177, $86.57 in retail value items were eligible for coupons. I used $20.07 in paper coupons, which meant that I paid $66.50 out of pocket. Then I submitted everything for $43.36 in rebates, which means that for those $86.57 retail value items, I paid in total $23.14. That's a 73.27% savings. The best part is, is that because I saved so much, that initial value, $63.60, plus the $23.14 that... I spent on these items, those total about $88, which I get to split with Josh because we split our grocery bill. So for $177, I actually only spent $44 total for myself and then Josh spent $44. So um, that math is gonna be off by a couple cents. So if you're like following super closely and you wanna critique it, it is off a little bit. Um, nice hair, Mandy. It, I just wanted to go through it super, super quickly. That's not literally cent for cent, but that's a general overview. And so I would say that after four hours of couponing, I feel pretty good about it.